Yeah. You good? Yeah, He's awake, he is um, uh, recovering and speaking to his caregivers, and um, we hope uh, that uh, the recovery that he is having now will continue. So the driver for all this was to provide an opportunity for patients with end-stage heart disease who couldn't either qualify or just didn't get a heart in time to treat their really poor heart function with a transplant. What everybody wants, right, is not to be limited simply by the supply of human organs for transplant. And, uh, you know, a number of the organs can be treated, uh, you know, and used uh, in this way um, from a, an animal and can be commercialized basically as a, as a drug, right? And in essence, on-demand delivery, right? You would have it delivered, removed, and delivered. If that's true, we will obviously change the face of what's possible for people who now wait years for a heart transplant. He simply didn't want to die, doesn't want to die. And um, he felt that if he had no opportunity, and he was pretty well convinced by multiple doctors who had told him he had a fatal disease and he was unlikely to leave the hospital because of it. With that as a background, as, as an alternative, he, he said to me two very important things. He said, I don't want to die. And he said, if I do, maybe you'll learn something to help others. We are all uh, very excited to see this big heart beating in this human. Uh, uh, this big heart has performed so far very well, uh, even beyond our expectations. We have not seen any signs of rejection. You know, it is a game changer because, uh, you know, now, uh, not, uh, we will have these organs readily available if this works and you know and I hope it will work uh, you know, we'll have these organs available we, we, we can you know uh, we have the technique of genetically modifying so if there are more t tweaking required for for modifying the genes we can we, we, will, we will be able to do that and you know can can you know customize basically the heart for or the organ for the patient